IDEX Biometrics is a global technology leader in fingerprint biometrics. They offer authentication solutions for payments, access control, and digital identity. Their solutions aim to provide convenience, security, and seamless user experiences worldwide. They use patented sensor technologies, integrated circuit designs, and software for biometric solutions in card-based applications for payments and digital authentication. They collaborate with leading card manufacturers and technology companies to bring their solutions to the market. Katharina Ekloff has been the Chief Commercial Officer, CCO, at IDEX Biometrics since June 2021. She brings extensive experience from the payments industry, having previously led global data solution programs for retailers, banks and airlines at MasterCard. With over 20 years of experience in leading business transformation across various sectors, including financial services, retail, travel, information and cybersecurity, Katharina Ekloff also serves on the Board of Directors of Avanza Bank Holding AB. Financial equity and inclusion involve ensuring that everyone has equal access to financial services and economic opportunities. However, there is a gender gap, especially in developing countries. In sub-Saharan Africa, only 37% of women have bank accounts compared to 48% of men. This exclusion from the financial system means that women can't access insurance, loans, life assurance or pensions and face challenges in starting businesses. Equal financial inclusion is not only a fairness issue but also essential for global economic growth. Many barriers, including formal identification, digital footprints, skills and financial literacy, hinder achieving this goal. Today, a significant number of women around the world are unbanked and underrepresented in financial services. They control a substantial amount of consumer spending and achieving equal financial inclusion for both men and women is crucial for any country. However, there are persistent barriers, including cultural differences, limited access to education and the refugee experience, which make it challenging for women to access financial services and legal protection. Technology, particularly biometrics, can help overcome these barriers. Biometric technology uses aspects of a person's biology, like fingerprints, to accurately and securely identify individuals. This technology is being integrated into various sectors, including government processes and healthcare. Pilot programs are being conducted to distribute biometric smart cards to refugees, making it easier for them to access financial services. In Mexico, a trial of biometric card technology streamlined transactions and secure fund disbursement for individuals in state benefits programs. Countries like India and Pakistan have successfully implemented national digital identity programs using biometrics to eliminate literacy barriers and improve financial inclusion. Promoting gender equality in financial inclusion requires more women in influential positions within the financial sector. Unfortunately, women hold less than 25% of decision-making roles in the financial sector in many countries, which can lead to gender bias. Financial institutions also need to better understand the needs of low-income women. Research shows that most women are willing to embrace biometric technology to bridge the digital divide. In summary, achieving financial equity and inclusion especially for women, is crucial for global economic growth. Biometric technology can play a significant role in overcoming barriers and promoting financial inclusion. However, it's also essential to have more women in influential positions within the financial sector to advocate for equal access and drive policy changes.